What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So less than two weeks after Google released QPR Beta 2 for Android, we just got Android 13 QPR Beta 3 on our Pixel 7 Pro. And I'm curious to see if they've actually added in or activated some of the hidden functionality that's been discovered in these latest betas. So we have nothing official to go by yet. There's a couple of release notes to state a couple of items, but nothing as far as new feature goes, just more bug squashes and all of that. So like I said, beta two was released on January 20th. It is now February 1st with the January security patch in this baby as well. So I'm very curious to see what's going on with this build, see if anything's new, like I said. We're gonna hop into it. We'll see if we can find anything aside from maybe some visual UI tweaks uh, that might be new. Thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's go. So having quite a few hours to play with it and all that, let's jump right into it. And you can see the build on this is now T2B32301090.00. And first call out is unsurprisingly, Everything's been very smooth and fluent on this latest um, beta build, and it has been really good to use. Now, having said that, unfortunately, jumping around the user interface and jumping into where we traditionally see some of these new updates and all that, um, and some of the rumor changes, nothing has actually come out yet that is present in non-modified form. So what I wanna do, instead of just showing you what isn't changed, I'm gonna throw up some images here, courtesy of Michelle on Twitter. He found a ton of changes as he traditionally does. Let's jump into these. So before we get into all these, you can see here the release notes on the Android developers site. Uh, you can see what devices are eligible currently as well as all of the important and top uh, resolved issues. So there's four bullet points here for developer reported and user reported issues as well as a long list of other resolved issues here. I'm not gonna read through them, you can pause this video, you can go to the website for yourself and see. <clears throat> but yeah, I wanted to make it known that at least it looks like they are making significant progress here. That's pretty exciting. For the more exciting pieces, here you go is a first look at the split lock screen and home screen with both themes active. This will be active here soon as well. This is the old wallpaper picker and as you can see, they've made it full screen with the new version that was found. I actually like this look a lot more. Also, you can now have left and right buttons for shortcuts, and you can now add do not disturb, your camera, flashlights, or nothing as you can see, as well as device controls. So this will be nice to actually have two side of customizable options. You are also going to be able to see it right here. This is what it's gonna look like, unsurprisingly. Nothing new in the Android world. Custom clock is another big one that will be coming out. You can see it here in the menu and what that looks like. Uh, I'm excited for this, especially when you can actually tweak it around a little more. You'll be able to actually set this under wallpapers and styles with a long press on the home screen. Um, and I think it'll be a nice way to customize your device even further. So that's all that was found currently. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited with what this QPR might entail? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.